Rachel. Hi, I'm Miss Gabby. Welcome, Welcome to Virtual Storytime. Story we are both Children's Library Services Associates at Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's main branch in Oakland, which is actually where we are filming right now. We're in the stacks at the main branch. We are so excited to share stories, songs, and rhymes with you today. This virtual experience is for children birth to five and their caregivers. For the adults, we want you to know that you can always connect to the library virtually on our website, carnegielibrary.org. We have a chat box that will connect you to a real library staff member and any resources you may be interested in. Our website allows you to access those important literacy opportunities for your little ones along with services and materials for you as well. We want you to know that we're here for you and the young learners that you love. Let's get started with our opening song, If You're Ready for a Story, which is sung to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. All right, so can you clap your hands? Let's try it. Great, now nod your head. Good. All right, now rub your tummy. You got it. Then sit so still. Ready? All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, rub your tummy. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, sit so still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit so still. Awesome! We love to tell stories at the library. It's a great way to share by using our voices. Today's story is inspired by Kevin Sherry's book, I Am the Biggest Thing in the Ocean. It's about a giant squid who thinks they are the biggest thing in the ocean, and they use their voice to tell all the other creatures. Hmm, do you think the giant squid is the biggest thing in the ocean? Let's find out. Far away in the ocean, there lived a squid. Not just any squid, a giant squid. He was very big, and he knew it. He loved how big he was. I'm so big. I'm the biggest thing I've ever seen. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. One day, he decided to go all around the ocean and point out everything that was smaller than him. The first thing he found was a seahorse. This seahorse is so small. I'm definitely bigger than this seahorse. I'm way bigger than this tiny seahorse. Well, that's not very nice. What else can I find that I'm bigger than? Next, he found a fish. A fish? <laughs> I'm way bigger than a fish. Look at this fish, it's tiny. Hey. I'm so big and this fish is so small. What else can I find? Next, the squid swam up next to a jellyfish. Jellyfish? More like jelly wish, because he wishes he was as big as me. Actually, I just wish you were nicer. I'm so much bigger than this jellyfish, it's not even close. What else am I bigger than? The squid kept swimming until he came up to a shark. Now this is more like it. The shark is pretty big, but still nothing compared to how big I am. Actually, my mom says I'm still growing. <laughs> Even when you're fully grown, you'll never be as big as me. I'm going to find something else I'm bigger than. Aw, uh, okay. Bye, Mr. Rude Squid. Before long, the squid found another animal. This time, it was a dolphin. Hey, dolphin. Yes, yeah, squid? I'm bigger than you. Okay. That means I'm better. You're tiny compared to me. I'm so much bigger and better than you. Well, okay, if you're not gonna be nice, I'm gonna swim away now, bye. Well, I'm already swimming away to find all the other things that I'm bigger than. He kept swimming. He swam and swam and swam until finally he found another animal, a seal. 
a seal? I'm bigger than you, seal. Oh no. Oh yes. Look at you there, so small. I mean, you're bigger than some other things, but not bigger than me. I'm so big and you're just a tiny, tiny seal. Hey, that hurts my feelings. I don't care. You're smaller than me, so nothing else matters. I'm off to find someone else. So on the squid swam. He swam and swam, then off in the distance. What's that? A walrus. Wow, something that's actually big. Not as big as me, of course. I'm, I'm huge. I bet you wish you were giant like me. Well, actually, I happen to like myself exactly the size I am. <laughs> That's silly. I know that you would love to be as big as me. You're just saying that because you're jealous of how big I am. I'm really not. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm bigger than you. Well, there must be something in the ocean that's even bigger than you. Nuh-uh. I've been swimming everywhere, and I'm the biggest thing I've ever seen. Well, then maybe you should keep swimming. Um, I think I will. So the qu squid kept swimming. He swam and swam and swam. And as he swam, he said, I'm so big. I was bigger than the seahorse. I was bigger than the fish. I was bigger than the jellyfish and the shark. I was way bigger than the dolphin. I was even bigger than that seal and bigger than that silly, silly walrus. I'm not just big. I'm huge. I'm giant. I'm humongous. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Uh, I'm the biggest thing in this whale. What a silly squid. Doesn't he know that it doesn't matter how big you are? It's way more important to be nice to your fellow ocean friends. The, the end. end. I don't know about you, Miss Gabby, but I think it's time to stretch. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sing a song where we're going to call on each other to stand up, sit down, and move our bodies around. In this song, we'll say each other's names, and that person will do the movements to the song. We're going to sing the song three times. First, we'll say Miss Rachel. Then we'll say Miss Gabby. And then on the third time, we'll pause for you to say your name. Are you ready? One, two, three. Stand up, Miss Rachel, stand up, Miss Rachel, turn around, turn around, reach up to the sky, reach down to the ground, sit back down, sit back down, stand up, Miss Gabby, stand up, Miss Gabby, turn around, turn around, reach up to the sky, reach down to the ground, sit back down, sit back down down stand up stand up turn around turn around reach up to the sky reach down to the ground sit back down sit back down good job, nice job. hey adults are you looking for book suggestions for young children here are two titles with characters who use their voices one to meet new friends and the other to save the earth for younger children, check out Little Fish's Ocean, written and illustrated by Lucy Cousins. As you might know, in most of our in-person story times, we like to add literacy tips when we're recommending material. So today's books are both going to be accompanied by a tip on print motivation. So print motivation is having a love of books, and it's an important early literacy skill so that children show up to kindergarten with the excitement necessary to learn to read. Books like Little Fish's Ocean support print motivation with lift the flat pages to intrigue and encourage playful reading. With young children, build this skill by rotating the lift the flat book to create fun experiences that also work with book handling. With older children, you can reread this book and play hide and seek by using the flaps to create a fun memory alongside the reading. This book is available as a board book in all of our CLP locations. If you're interested in reading it at home, you can look for it on the shelves of your nearest branch, or you can request it via the catalog. With a quick search of the title in the catalog and by entering your library card number, you can request Little Fish's Ocean. This book could be on its way to be picked up at your local Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh branch. For older children, check out We Are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstrom with pictures by Michaela Goad. This is a story about a young indigenous girl who finds her voice to defend and save the earth, its water, and living things. This book is written and illustrated by two indigenous people. 
When picking out books with your child, you should absolutely let them read what they're interested in, but introduce diverse books in all senses of the word. Reading diverse books provides opportunities for kids to see themselves, find their voice, and build empathy with others who are not like them through stories, which supports print motivation. This book is available in picture book, audiobook, e and ebook formats, and through Hoopla, a free digital library platform. So before we go, we're going to sing a few more songs. So we'll be singing If You're Happy and You Know It in both English and in Spanish. The motions will be the same for each, so before we start, show me that you can clap your hands, stomp your feet, and shout hooray! Hooray! Or hoorah! Hoorah! Wonderful! All right, so sing with us and try your best to follow along with the motions. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Good job. Awesome. Great job. Now we're going to do it all over again, but this time in Spanish. Ahora vamos a hacerlo una vez más, pero esta vez en español. ¿Listos? Ready? Si tú estás contento, plaudes sí. Si tú estás contento, plaudes sí. Si tú estás contento y quieres demostrarlo. Si tú estás contento, plaudes sí. Si tú estás contento, pisa sí. Si tú estás contento, pisa sí. Si tú estás contento y quieres demostrarlo. Si tú estás contento, pisa sí. Si tú estás contento, grita sí. ¡Hurra! Si tú estás contento, grita sí. ¡Hurra! Si tú estás contento y quieres demostrarlo. Si tú estás contento, grita sí. ¡Hurra! Thank you so much for joining us today. We sang some songs, we told a story, and shared book titles that have characters who found their voices and expressed themselves. Find your voice at the library as you read your way through summer. And remember, summer reading is happening right now at the library. Stop in and sign up and log your reading. Summer reading participants who read and log at least five books by the end of the summer will be entered to win an amazing prize basket from their favorite location. COP's annual extravaganza event will be an end of summer reading celebration on August 13th from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. outside and inside of COP Maine. COP will once again be giving away free books to kids and teens in our location while supplies last. Stop by your favorite Carnegie Library Pittsburgh branch this summer to get yours. We hope to see you soon. Now to close this out, we're going to sing our goodbye song, Thanks for Coming. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Thanks for sitting. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming here today. Now that story time is over, hope you have a lovely day. Bye. See you next time.